Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be upgrading my CPU and my computer. I currently have an i5. Uh, we got the new i9 uh, Gen 10. Uh, so we're going to swap it out and uh, show you how to do it. We'll see you here in a little bit. For today's job, uh, the tools we're going to need, uh, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, uh, going to need some thermo paste. The thermo paste is what's going to go between the CPU fan and the CPU, and uh, you're going to need a CPU. Alright, we've got the computer setting up here. Um, everything's already unhooked, but the first thing is you want to make sure that your power is unplugged, turned off. Uh, you don't want any power on your computer while you're doing this. Uh, next thing we need to do is we need to get the sides off of the CPU. Uh, got four bolts, two up here. Uh, so we're going to take those off real quick. Take your Phillips screwdriver, loosen them up. Take your two screws off, set them to the side. This piece right here is just going to slide off. We want to do the same thing with the other side. Slide it out and just pull it back and take it off. Now that we're inside the CPU and we can see our motherboard, uh, one of the big things before you order your CPU, you really need to look at your motherboard and verify what motherboard you have. It should be labeled somewhere on the motherboard to make sure that you get the right CPU to fit your motherboard. Uh, Intel and AMD are both completely opposite. Uh, kind of the same but different but you need to make sure you get the correct socket and the correct gen to fit your CP uh, your motherboard first thing we need to do here to get to our CPU is uh, we need to remove the CPU fan uh, this particular unit has four screws here that we need to take loose uh, some will come out without having to go to the back side, but on this model, we have to come around here and just know that there's a bracket back here that the fan screws into. So we'll have to make sure that we're holding this bracket to get the fan out. Next, we need to unplug the CPU fan power. Uh, make sure you remember where you unplug this at but uh, just pull straight off and your power for your fan is off and now we need to get these screws out All right, now here we got the CPU, which was under the CPU fan. Uh, it's got thermo paste all over it. Uh, we need to try to wipe it off and get the biggest of it off. So I'm just gonna take a napkin here and get the biggest of it wiped off here. All right, now that we have the thermo paste off, we can see there's a metal rod here. What you do to get the CPU out is you push down on it and then pull it back towards you and the lever will come up. Just go ahead and push it on back and the bracket will come up. At this point, there's a little triangle right here. We need to make sure that we remember which way we take this out so that we can put it back in the correct position. So the triangle is down here on this bottom corner. 
So now you just kind of grab it with your fingers and just lift it straight up. Next, uh, now that we got the fan out, uh, this fan also has thermo paste on it, so we need to my, make sure we get all this out. And just again, just wiping it with a napkin. All right, next we got the new CPU. I want to grab it on the sides. You can see on the bottom here, there's all the pins and stuff. You try to do your best not to touch them if you can help it. But now we're going to install it. So what we want to do is make sure that the arrow that's on the bottom here is in the same direction as the one that we took and taken off. And you basically just want to drop it in its slot. It's got little slots for it to fit in. You can see it just sets in. And you want to pull your little bracket back over. Then you're going to take the, the pin, the arm, uh, and you're going to push it back down. Just so you know, there is quite a bit of tension, but it's perfectly fine. Push it back down and then let it in its position and it is installed. Next, you want to get your thermo paste and you're going to be applying the thermo paste to the top of your CPU. Uh, it, to help transfer the heat. Um, there's multiple different methods and multiple different ways of how people install it. Uh, in this particular case, we're gonna take the thermo paste and we're gonna put about a pea size worth of thermo paste dead in the center. Just like that. Next step, we're going to install the fan. And when the fan sets down on, it has this flat surface as well. It's gonna spread out the thermo paste to give it an equal uh, amount across the bottom. So we're basically gonna set this down on top of our CPU and make sure we give it a good push. And at this point, we are going to start screwing it down. And dropping the screwdriver. When you tighten these down, it, they tighten up to where they stop automatically, so you don't have to over tighten them or anything. Uh, once you got the screws on, you want to grab your wire and go ahead and carefully plug it back in. And now your fan is installed. All right, at this point, uh, we've got the CPU installed, the fans installed, and it's plugged back in. Uh, now, all you need to do is Put your side covers back on and plug your power up and turn it on and you should be good to go.